What's going on everybody? It's your Rat One Encounter, Yubari Eradicate, and with me today is Silva san. Boof. Boof. Uh and Silva is just kinda here to to supervise. She's the supervisor. Um I wanted to talk about patch notes. We have new patch notes for Pokken uh, patch 1.2.3 and our good friend Pentau on PokenArena.com. That's PokenArena.com uh, that you should use, that I should use. Because I have a profile and I just never use it. Um, but our friend Penta has translated these uh, patch notes. I don't actually know where they came from. But they are legit and they're coming out uh, on the 11th. This patch is supposed to take place. Because uh, I know that Internationals is this weekend. As of the time of this recording. So it would be kind of fucked up for a new patch to come out the day of a tournament. Which I wouldn't put it past Pokemon Company. But it comes out the 11th. Uh, I want to talk about some of these because characters that I play got buffs, and so <laughs> I'm going to talk about everyone, but um, I have a, a couple of things to say about a couple of characters that I play. Um, a couple of characters I don't, who I'm excited for, but uh, let's go into it. So starting off, we have our support buffs. Uh, oh baby, here we go. So first one, Diglett does more damage. I don't know how much d damage Diglett does in the first place because I never, I never used Diglett. I know he's they used to. I know Bimmy, Bimmy Question used to use him for like unblockable or for like shield break setups and stuff like that with Sceptile. Uh, Pachirisu took a hit, bro. Pachirisu removed invincibility on startup and replaced with projectile invincibility on startup. Now here's the thing, Pachirisu's primary function is erasing projectiles, but in DX, I think in DX or 1.3, Pachirisu got like a shit ton of iframes. And so what you would see a lot of people doing, I think even in, uh, all the way to DreamHack, uh, the last one, people would um, <coughs> would use Pachirisu to invincibility through certain moves, and then you could punish afterwards. So something, I, I don't know, something fast like Leaf Blade, I guess. You could call Pachirisu during a block string to um, to use the invincibility to, um, like, you know, to avoid block stun, basically. Um, but that will no longer work because now it's only projectile invincibility. So Pachirisu has taken a little bit of a hit there. That sucks. Magikarp charge is slower, which whatever, because the person who the person who uses or the Pokemon who uses Magikarp primarily is Brakeson, and Brakeson's gonna get Magikarp in two seconds, even if it's a fucking. It could be a four minute charge time, and she'll have it in two seconds, whatever. So, I mean, it sucks, but Magikarp's kind of dumb now anyway. So, because it. It comes out super fast and it drops faster when you hit, so it's it's harder to like just do a little tap and block it like it used to be. But um, cause a speed debuff. It's a good support. Charging slower is reasonable. Uh, Yveltal fixed a problem where your opponent's synergy didn't go down on a hit if you activate a burst at the same time. One of those bugs I never seen. They fixed it. Cool. Litten charges faster. That's neat. I mean, you don't use Litten really until you're in rage anyway, so I don't know how much that matters, but it's there. Poplio increased duration on the double jump buff. That's cool because um, that's one of those things where, yeah, I always felt like it didn't last long enough. Like, it's the kind of thing where when you call the support, you have a couple seconds to use the, the effect. And, like, it becomes super obvious what you're going to do. Like, even with Blastoise, when I use Withdraw, it's like, now I have the defense buff so my command grab is better. But, like, now I'm going to try to command grab. And it's kind of clear what's, what's going to happen next. Um... <clears throat> So, but that's cool. Longer double jump is neat. Um, a couple characters can do cool stuff with that. I know uh, Junior Jam just made a Twitter uh, uh, video about Machamp in field phase. If he does JY super close, he can double jump into um, air grab in field phase, which is neat. Um, and then I know like Scizor and Shadow Mewtwo have cool loops they can do with that. Uh, Mega Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza is like viable now. Mega Rayquaza does more damage, which it already does a shit ton of damage. It does, like, as much as Lapras. It has a sweet spot, which is its problem. Um, Mega Rayquaza's general issues so far have been that it has, like, different damage based on where it hits, so it's not consistent. And it took too long to charge initially, and it costs synergy. It now has 10 second charge time, so that's no big deal. Um, and we've now reduced the amount of synergy it costs. We don't know how much it's reduced, but it does more damage. So now there's actually... A reason to use it over something like Lapras or um, Emolga. And apparently, I don't know if it's true. I don't know how accurate it is, but I trust Kalon's word. Kalon says that Mega Rayquaza does 90 chip damage, and that's absurd to me. So if it does even more than that, then whoa, I'm very excited for Mega Rayquaza. And Celebi charges faster. And I don't see much Celebi, but that's neat. 
Celebi's cool. Um, Blastoise. <laughs> my boy Blastoise. My boy Blastoise has a new anti-air. Aura Sphere can go upwards now. That's so crazy. And that solves a problem where, like, so originally, you know, you press 5A and you do Water Gun. And you could do 5A X if you thought the opponent was going to jump and you thought you had enough time to get Dragon Pulse out. Uh, which a lot of times you don't, especially against, like, Decidueye or something. So when you press 5A, you're now committed. And you can Shell Cancel to ignore that commitment, so I guess it's not a commitment. But you could Shell Cancel, and you could Shell Cancel X to, like, anti-air if you thought the opponent was going to jump or whatever. You could just Shell Cancel backwards or forward to avoid things. Um, but now you have a dedicated anti-air option out of uh, Water Gun, so that's nice. It's a little thing, but it'll be useful over time. Burst Mode now improves Blastoise's movement speed universally. That... That's incredible. Like, that's something that we've really been needing because Blastoise, like, Blastoise has a problem with, um, where, like, he goes in the burst and it's too easy to run away from him because he's still as slow as he normally is. He's just in burst now. Um, so you kind of have to, like, corner the opponent before you burst, but if your back is to the wall and you burst, the opponent can just walk backwards full screen and then you, and then you just run out of burst. And you can fire your stupid laser beam at them all you want, but it doesn't do enough from full screen. So, I don't know, but that's good. That's super nice. Uh, JX and Field can now input back JX to track opponents. I don't really, I've never really had problems with that, but I guess I don't use JX too much because it kind of sucks. But that's cool. New tracking is good. And Dark Pulse no longer interacts with opposing projectiles. That's awesome because that, to me, sounds like it now works like Will O Wisp, where you can't destroy Dark Pulse. Because I think you could before, or it could clash with other projectiles of the same priority. But um, now it's now it's a ghost projectile like will o -Wisp, as far as I can tell, and it counter pierces like will o -Wisp, so that's cool. They should give it a debuff like will o -Wisp. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. And now we have one of Silva's characters. Right, Silva? Silva's back here drinking our coffee. Um, uh, Decidueye. Soaring forward dash reduces landing recovery. Neat. I don't play I don't play Owl at all, so I don't know what these do for Owl exactly. Uh, 8x increased block stun. Cool. Boy. Increased block stun on 8x. That's the um. That's the double kicks, right? Yeah. This, this fucking. Oh yeah, the ch ch like the yeah 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 the, the double kick that I always use. The uh, horong kick. Yeah yeah yeah. Horong kick. Horong. Uh, 6xx reduced recovery but reduced hit stun. So. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of that in this in these patch notes. Actually, reduce recovery, but also reduce hit stun, which I guess is cool. Reduce recovery is always nice. I guess it's balanced and fair. Yeah, fair and balanced. Um, but that is hit stun, not block stun. So it's still safe on block, but you know. Mm. Uh, counter attack reduced active armor frames to match other grounded counter attacks. Thank fucking god. No. Thank fucking god that this counter attack is now no. like actually fair and balanced. Now it's just a fucking normal counter. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, now it's just guard trump's counter, but you can count you can combo off of it. Decidueye is garbage? Yeah. That's what everybody in these patch knows. First of all, I want to call this out. Apparently people are saying that Decidueye and Aegislash are dead. Yeah, settle down, kids. Settle. <laughs> settle down, kids. This, this counterattack reduced active armor. Taking away busted shit doesn't make a character dead, alright? He's dead. Now he's now he has to play the fucking game. He's a literal ghost now. And that that isn't even enough. Like that okay, so I've talked about in the past before. In the past before even. In the past before. In the past before. I've talked about how like when when the last roll of nerfs for uh for Decidui were nerfs to like soaring X, um, the flop slam thingy, it got increased scaling. And it, that fucks up some of your combos. Your combos do like what, like twenty or forty less damage with the scaling. But, like, I'd never consider that kind of thing. Like, I don't consider scaling to be, like, a real nerf. And I know that's weird to say, because, like, that loss of damage is a is a nerf. But for someone like Decidueye, whose cross-up game... Or, like, not cross-up, but, like, his pressure and his mix-up game is so good. Like, your hitboxes aren't decreased. Your your invincibility on the ghost dash isn't decreased. Like, your startup on moves isn't slower. You have, you have to do more damage, but that just means you have to mix up one more time than normal with a character who's got some of the best mix-ups in the game. So I don't consider scaling to be a gigantic, like, nerf to anything, because Mewtwo got scaling nerfs, and it doesn't matter, he's still Mewtwo. Um, <clears throat> but this, this is an actual nerf, because now you can actually stuff this counterattack. So, that's pretty cool. 
for people fighting Decidueye, for people playing Decidueye, I apologize, but yeah, do you? welcome to the club. Uh, 5x, increased combo scaling. Okay. I don't even... What is 5x? For what? Decidueye? For Decidueye, yeah. Mm, 5... Wait. Isn't it 2468? 5x is neutral. Just, no directions, just X in dual phase. So then it would be the fucking... The fly forward where he hits a bunch of times and then he spins. That's 5A. That's 5A. No, that's 6A. No. Five, 5A is Spirit Jackal. Silva hasn't played Pokemon in a little while. Shut up! He, <laughs> he, he. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> what the fuck is 5X? I don't play Owl That's what all. I said. I'm like, I, I just learned today that the fucking 2468 is a, is a fucking lightning bolt, and now you're yeah. telling me there's a 5? Yeah, there's there's all nine numbers, baby. Oh, it's a number pet. Oh, anyway. Jesus. Anyway, Empoleon. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Empoleon. Oh. Our boy. My king, my lord, my emperor. He can move from his throne now. He can move from his throne now. It's true. Empoleon Neutral Y can now ice skate right out of Neutral Y by holding down the button. Cool. He's got new skates. 5YX, new move. Hold down the button to go into ice skating. That's cool. They, they've added a bunch of new moves in this, which is... I, I fucking love new... That's something that Pokken does that... A lot of other fighting fighting games aren't really like, like super known for. Speaking mostly from Street Fighter Four, I don't remember a patch like adding a move to a character, you know. But Pokémon, even though it's a lot of times just reusing animations, like um like for Blaziken, his six Y X now is just it's his six Y from before, but instead of doing the flip afterwards, it's just he does his forward Y from from Field Phase. And so that's not like a new animation, but it's still cool to have a different option. Even if it doesn't do shit, it's just cool to have. Um, so I, I appreciate stuff like that. So 5YX, five, uh, five new move. Hold down the button to ice skate. More cancels. There's a lot of new cancels in this in these patch notes too, which is nice. Movement. Empoleon movement speed has increased universally. My boy has a walk speed. We are no longer SF5 Bison. We're now like slightly faster than SF5 Bison. Nice. Uh, JX in field. Increased active frames on the hitbox while descending. Can change the direction of the move with 6, 8, or 9. So that's cool too. You can change your trajectory. More hit, more active frames is always good. Uh, 5X. Increase the hitbox on the second hit. Nice. When inputting 1X, you won't spin as far. That's So that's like angling uh, Weavile's dive kick. So that probably has its uses. Uh, in situations where somebody's jumping, they could probably fall on you easier like that. Again, I don't know shit about Empoleon, so I'm just making shit up here, but... Shoutouts to Corgian. Shoutouts to Corgian. And, uh, thanks Swalot and Wizards, and... It's Gallade play? Who the fuck? Shoutouts to all the Empoleon mains, especially the ones I forgot. Uh, <laughs> somebody just called me out the other day, like, no bullying out, uh, Penguin. I'm like, I love Pengu. Pingu. Pingu? Pingu. Uh, 4X, more blocks done. Perfect. Uh, skating, jump and duel, input forward to go even further beyond. Amazing. 2x, increase hit stun, combo scaling increased. That sucks, but increase hit stun's cool. Uh, skating, jump, fix the problem where your controls would get locked if you're hit with a certain timing out of this move. Skating and duel, why can no longer use dual phase moves after the phase changing with this move? Back skating, why can I? Okay, so they fixed the bug. I don't know if any if anybody watching this video saw when it would happen. Uh, slipping or uh, thanks Swalot did it at Dreamhack, I think. Like in one of his first matches, he pulled it off. But people found a combo with uh, Empoleon in patch 1.3.1, where if you ended the combo with backslide uh, Y in dual phase, it would shift to field phase, but you would still maintain the dual phase camera. And it was it was wild, and you could do super cool. Like uh, you would be using your field phase moves, but in dual phase essentially. But you could still move on the the Y axis or X axis. Um, and Mewtwo became like the coolest character ever because he had his field phase JY, but it was the dual phase camera. And I oh, I was so cool. But it was a super super bug. It was not intentional at all, and they had fixed that. So cool, yeah. Uh, Scizor. So here's another character I want to talk about. A character I no longer play, but. I promise that in this video I would say good things about Scizor because anybody who knows me knows that I fucking hate Scizor. And the reason I hate Scizor is because I've never been so disappointed by a character that I was so excited for. 
Um, Scizor, I have a lot of problems with Scizor, and I'm not going to talk about all of them right now. We'll save that for a later date. I've talked about it in streams before. But Scizor got things that I have been asking for, and something that I didn't know I needed, but I'm so glad I got. So we can now bug bite without having to use bullet punch. One of the biggest problems I've always had with Scizor is that 1A, his close range bug, uh, bullet punch, is like the worst button in the universe. I hate it because when you, when you 1A a shield, you should die for that. You might as well just lose the round for doing that button because the best case scenario is you're going to clash with a 9 frame or 11 frame because the um, X scissor follow up that has the just frame on it. If your opponent has a 9 frame, 11 frame, fuck, I still can't get over that. If your opponent has an 11 frame low and they press it, it beats every single follow up out of, uh, out of close bullet punch. It clashes with uh, Bullet Punch X, which would be the X Scissor follow-up. It crit, it obviously crits the command grab, which is Bug Bite. And it beats out... 13 frame grabs can beat the um, Silver Wind follow-up, or the Razor Wind, or whatever you want to call it. The, the 1AA, whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> and so, Bug Bite was like the worst, because there, like you basically didn't have a command grab outside of combos. It was just a combo ender. And like it steals buffs and health and synergy and it's a really useful command grab but you could only do it in combos and scissor being a defensive like neutral character like his combos are flashy but it's you you're not gonna land combos with your negative 24 moves which is my biggest problem with fucking scissor is all of his negative ass moves but now now you can bug bite in neutral which is good because you can cancel bug bite and now there's a reason to cancel bug bite because there was never a reason before the only thing the only reason to ever cancel bug bite before was if you were like mid screen and you did um you did 3a the far range bullet punch and then you would cancel into bug bite and then you would dash cancel bug bite to approach but you don't want to approach a scissor because all of his frame data is ass and his grab is ass he's got a fucking weavile short grab right but now you can actually threaten people with your command grab now the only thing i'm going to say negative about this change is that i don't understand why it's a charge move i guess so you can do it in field phase which is also interesting however i would have just put his reversal on 8a like every other character in the game and i would have put except for blastoise i guess um and i would have put 4a as the command grab because that makes sense in my brain i don't get why u-turn is 4a in the first place but I can't complain too much because I got what I wanted. I'm not going to pretend I didn't get what I want, so I'm happy. I don't know how much that actually does for Scizor. Uh, we were talking earlier about potentially um, Staples, Oki being better in field phase, although I think the answer is to just JX, and the worst you're going to get is U-Turned. But U-Turn, like what Crit U-Turn does, like... I think regular U-Turn does 60, I think Crit U-Turn does 100. So, like, that sucks. But... I, I don't know. I, I don't know how good it'll be, but it could be good. It could be not so great. We'll have to see when it comes out. This change, though, Swords Dance shots. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so Swords Dance follow-ups. Swords Dance is another one of, my, one of my most hated moves because it has so much recovery. Sweet Coon mains, you know what I'm talking about. Your recovery on, on uh, Aurora Beam, that's our recovery on Swords Dance. When you Swords Dance, you're stuck there. And you can do the, the 5 AA follow-up where he throws the swords, but... That has a shit ton of recovery too, and it's very easy to jump over and punish. Um, so, but now you can cancel, and I don't know if this means you cancel the swords activation before you throw them, or if you throw them and then you can chase them, because that's what I want. I want to be able to throw the sword and then chase it. That would make me so happy. But you can now cancel, uh, you can forward dash cancel right out of this move with R. That's awesome. I was asking for less, re for lower recovery on that move, but I will take a dash cancel. Give me a dash cancel anywhere in the in in my life. I would take a dash cancel if I can get one in real life. I would take it. I love dash canceling. Anyway, two X has more block stun. That move already has a stupid amount of block stun. I don't know how much more block stun you can give it before it's like before you you're taking seconds off the clock. But that's cool. Increases pushback from the wall when you wall spot with this move to better position Scizor for combos. Cool. Wall combos are, are very useful for Scizor, especially because a lot of them end in bug bite. Um, homing 1, reduced recovery, reduced hit stun. Cool. Uh, hover turn, fixed a bug. <laughs> bug. Where inputting hover turn would cause you to use U-turn in certain situations or something. 
These were hastily translated patch notes by Pentao, so he just put, if he wasn't sure, he wasn't sure. But thank you, Pentao, again. Um, but yeah, so there was some kind of bug. Another one that I haven't seen because I don't play Scissor anymore, but maybe I'll spend more time with him because I want to use that bug bite thing and I want to use that sword stance thing. If that sword stance is following your projectiles, I will totally spend more time with this character. Anyway, next up, Krogunk. We have 8Y, new move. What could that be? Because right now, 8Y, egg, eight egg Y. Could I offer you an egg in this trying time? Could I offer you a single egg Y? A single egg Y? Um, 8Y new move. So his current 8Y is the, the round thing where he, he honks up in the air. Um, it's his anti-air. It's pretty good as far as I know. But now he has a charge version. And that's cool. I kind of imagine it being like a big, like a, like where he pauses for a second and then does, does like a big honk, like a single big wide honk. Because the current one is, uh, the current 8Y is pretty narrow. So it'd be cool if there was like a slower but bigger one that let you combo off of it or something like that. That'd be neat. Uh, J8X, on whiff the move's random effect has been altered. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think that's his, where you could perfect, you could like just frame to get um, boulder or sandstorm every time. On whiff the move's random effect has been altered. Oh, on whiff the move's random effect has been altered. Well, I don't know. What is J8X? I don't know. I don't know anything about Krogon. Nope. I should know things about Krogunk because my son Gino plays Krogunk, but oh, I don't know. What? Isn't that the fucking... I think that's when he spins. No, that's the one when he throws something. No, it's, that's always A, isn't it? Yeah. It's... Wait, is it J8 or J8, J8? J8X. Oh. Yeah. So then it's... I think it's it's his, like, his air spin thing. His weird Blanca ball thing. When he throws... I think it's when he throws something, because if it's a random effect... Maybe. They don't mean... Oh, wait, no. On whiff. I don't fucking know. We're not qualified I for this. Uh, burst attack. Increased reach. Improved tracking. Increased iframes. Awesome. Uh, Frog's burst attack was kind of lackluster in terms of you could just walk underneath it a lot of time. Well, not that you could walk underneath it, but it was very easy to miss. Yeah. But now it's less easy to miss, and it has increased in, uh, iframes, which is good because it could be punished pretty easily. I think, I think like, Shadow Mew 2 could offensive teleport and punish it so that's pretty neat uh back y avoid some high projectiles uh just frames increase synergy i'm trying to remember what back y is but i don't remember that shit either i apologize uh gino and the other two uh both of the other gunk mains uh gunk shot self-destruct can now guard break opponents that shit's cool oh fuck so that that means so you can definitely like you can end combos with that now because I think there's a way to guarantee get gu to get self destruct. <laughs> I'm pretty sure to get gu 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 gunk. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that, like guaranteed. So that'll be cool. Um, I doubt you can follow up off of it since it hurts gunk and throws him too. But uh, it's cool. Um, Darkrai, our boy Darkrai, six Y on hit causes a down state. On just frame, grants more synergy. That's really fucking cool. So now instead of air teching when you do 6Y, which is his launcher, um, now on hit it'll cause a, a, a hard knockdown, essentially. Um, and on just frame, it gives more synergy. This is the this is the cancel new move just frame update. Um, it's very exciting, which we'll get to that more later. Um, but yeah, 6Y on hit causes a down state on just frame, grants more synergy. Awesome. 4Y, uh, just frame gives more synergy now, uh, also causes a down state. So now you can do the 6Y just frame and the 4YYY just frame probably. And it'll give more syner it'll give you a shit ton of synergy, presumably. And cause a hard knockdown at the end, which lets you Oki, which is awesome because nasty plot Oki is nasty. Uh, 2Y, reduce recovery, cool. However, also does re uh, reduce block stun, which is not as cool. But you win some, you lose some. Shadow Claw, sliced, uh, der, 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 deriva derivation, held? Derivation. Not duration. Derivation. Derivation. Slice derivation. Have I ever seen that word? I think that's a, like, derivation. Uh, not divide, but a derivative? Yeah, it's like derivative. Uh, derivation. Uh, we're not qualified for this. Obtaining or developing something, of something, from a source or origin. Nice. Uh, more phase shift points on Shadow Claw. Unfortunate. Uh, I think that's the big, the big charge like slash move he does, like full screen. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Air teleport. Nightmare mode. Increase recovery if you're air teleport. Oh, oh we'll blow my mouth. Okay, but you know, that, that sucks, actually. Because air teleport was really useful. Um, so, yeah, it kind of sucks. That's his um, his jump R. But, um, yeah. Shadow Mewtwo. Psywave projectile max charge now eats other projectiles has higher priority. That button already has shit tons of priority, so give it more. I And that's not even like a, like, that's not even like, gosh, I can't believe it. No, it's like, keep just keep doing it. Have it counter pierce to have it do everything. I love that button. Miracle Eye reduced HP cost. That is so, so good. That's so good. Just re they should honestly reduce the HP cost on everything because Shadow Me Too would jump like, like, like three places on the tier list immediately. He'd be so much better. He'd be broken. Yeah, he would be. That's what I want. No. We need every character in this game to be broken. We need every character in this game to be as stupid as Brixen and Slash. But anyway. Teleport reduced recovery time. So good. I love teleport. And now he can air teleport too. After in DX, he can air teleport. Oh my god. I think that was patch 3.1. 3.1 added the air teleport, I'm pretty sure. Well, you can you can teleport in, in like six directions now, I think. Pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, 6Y. When the second hit hits an opponent above the ground, increase stun. Um, I remember Minz tweeted something about this earlier, but I forget what he said. He was clearing up some confusion about the thing. Let me just find that real quick and make a cut if I need to. Okay, so Minz actually made a thread of um, of like his thoughts in the new patch notes. So level three Psywave Blast is now higher priority. Currently level three Psy Blast is already a tier six projectile on a scale of one through six um, than S, which means that it destroys every other tier six or below projectile while only getting destroyed by other tier six or tier S projectiles. So that's insane. It literally beats every other projectile in the game now. Tier S projectiles are never destroyed. They are moves like Hyper Beam and Shandy Laser. So either level three Psy Blast is now in the tier seven or it has become a tier S projectile. Both options are insane, says Minz. Miracle Eye has its health cost reduced in Wii U patch uh, 1.3 Shadow Mewtwo's Miracle Eye was nerfed from costing 20 HP to costing 30 HP. It's pretty safe to, ass pretty safe to assume that the health cost will go back down to 20. The 10 HP difference adds a super fast, adds up super fast. The more you use uh, Miracle Eye in a round, grounded teleport now has reduced recovery. Uh, currently, Shadow Mewtwo's grounded teleport takes around 41 frames to start from start to finish. Uh, for the first 26 of those frames, he is invincible. So the move right now has an end lag of 15 frames where Shadow Mewtwo is vulnerable. Even if it's a conservative four frame reduction, putting it at 11 frames end lag, um, that still makes punishing a teleport more difficult. Teleport is most often used to move away, so having even less time to cover that distance can be the difference between getting a punish on teleport or not. The period of time where Shadow Mewtwo can, can after 5x, continue to choose choose to continue into 5xx is increased. Right now, in order to use 5xx, you must press the button either before or right as the 5x becomes active, which means that you had to predict the 5x was going to hit in order the combo, which that's just annoying. And that's that's he skipped over the. Um, the or she, I forget. Oh no. <laughs> she it they. Yeah, they um, uh, skipped over the six x change, but I think that was in a different tweet. Um, ba 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 ba. Where did I leave off? With this buff, theoretically, you will be able to delay the five x x input until after the five x has become active. This will not only allow for hit confirms in a 5x and a 5xx, but will also allow for a greater guessing game on block, as you could delay the 5xx for a frame trap. Neat. Psywave Vortex has had its health cost reduced. Similar to Mind's Eye, Vortex was also nerfed in 1.3 to cost more HP, from 50 to 70. And like Mind's Eye, I wouldn't be surprised if the cost went back down to original 50. Says Minz. Uh, this is a pretty huge deal, as it makes Vortex go from taking 15% of the HP to only 10% of its HP. Uh, that makes Vortex go from a net plus 48, plus 66, plus 84, depending on the level. Damage on hit and a net minus 48, minus 46, minus 43 damage on block. To plus 68, plus 86, plus 104. And minus 28, minus 26, minus 23 on hit and block, respectively. Do with those numbers what you will. Uh, Psywave Vortex now uh, gives less meter. And I imagine this is referring to on hit since Mind's Eye didn't specify any meter changes to account for self damage change, which uh, should happen regardless since any damage builds meter on the da on the damage even if it's self inflicted. 
Regardless, this won't change much if anything's much of anything seeing as the self damage meter build is already only 5 cc and the on meter hit build is only 7 to 8 cc. These are honestly pretty insignificant numbers unless you're hitting many vortexes per round which means you've probably won already which is a good point. Okay here's the thing burst 6y pillar now disappears when burst runs out pretty standard nerf puts pillar in line oh yeah so yeah that's that's not that the the air change thing but that's um um um, um that's like you know, so you can't set things up after your burst mode ends. Uh, okay, here's the change. When an airborne opponent is put into hit stun by the 6Y pillar, it now puts them in hit stun for longer. This change seems pretty insignificant, but it's actually a pretty nice buff. It is not saying that pillar has hit stun versus airborne's, airborne opponents. So, there you go. It doesn't hit stun them out of the air, it just has increased stun. So, I guess they would fall slower. Um, the change only applies to when the opponent is put into hit stun by the pillar, either by being comboed into it via, via having an attack up slash being in burst, or having the fourth hit of the pillar connect. The most important one being the case of the fourth hit. Uh, before when the opponent was hit by the fourth hit of a pillar in the air, they would almost instantly go into their air tech, making it extremely hard to combo off of. Now theoretically this will allow Shadow Mewtwo to hit confirm that fourth hit into a miracle eye consistently. Um, and yeah, and then he talks about, or they talk about the Poplio buff, um, which would be good for Shadow Mewtwo, but they're Shadow Mewtwo's things. Straight from Min's. Thank you, Min's. I will have to let them know that I used their tweets in this video. Thank you, Min's. But now, oh, oh let's go. All right, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's the boy, it's the boy, it's your boy. It's Mewtwo time, ladies and gents. All right, so Mewtwo, right? Mewtwo, my old main Mewtwo. 6YX has got a new Just Frame. The Just Frame adds more damage and synergy gain on success. Psy Strike, Just Frames add synergy. 2X, Just Frames add synergy. Burst Attack removes any supports you have on activation, so you can't call Rotom and then Burst. Don't be a scrub, call Burst and then Rotom if you gotta. Mewtwo should have played like this since Mewtwo was released. So on launch of Wii U, Mewtwo should have played like this. Mewtwo, okay, um, I don't even know where to begin with this, I'm so excited. Mewtwo should always have been a high execution, just frame character with the highest synergy cost in the game, like to get burst. But as, but in turn, if you play Mewtwo better, you get more synergy, right? And they kind of did that when they buffed, um, <clears throat> I think it was in DX. Um, I didn't know about it until recently when uh, Cyanide told me, but they buffed uh, Drain Punch. So Drain Punch in Field Phase gains 20% synergy, and in Dual Phase gains 10% synergy on hit, right? But now, not only does Drain Punch get more synergy, but your Just Frames do more. So now there's going to be optimal combo paths for synergy gain. And there were before, like combo paths that didn't use A moves, so you gain more synergy like net throughout the combo. But now you can actually end combos with 2x, or with a uh, side strike, and gain more synergy for doing that instead of losing synergy. Or, or coming out even. It might have come out even. But, fuck that. Now you can do JY, uh, JYX, and then 2xx just frame, and then JY step forward, 6yx just frame. It's fucking synergy city, bro. And then you fucking, you just land a drain punch in field phase, and like, you're probably already halfway there, and then you use special cheer. Oh, Mewtwo. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I picked Mewtwo back up because, like, oh, he's going to get to play in burst mode. He's going to have a burst mode, you guys. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to have to learn my burst mode combos. That's nuts. But, uh, yeah. That's Mewtwo. Super excited. Breaks in. JY, J8Y. New move. Uh, Double said, I don't know what I'm going to do with a JY, J8Y. Like, what's the point? And then I believe it was Min said, you're going to break some poor Chandelure shield with it. And he's like, you're, you're probably right. You're probably right. <clears throat> Flame charge. When crossing opponents up with this move, you will uh, move a shorter distance, which is awesome. Because that was some goofy shit before. I remember, I think uh, Shippo was excited about that change. Flame charge. EX fixed a problem where after performing this move, you would autocorrect in the wrong direction. That's nice to not autocorrect in the wrong direction. Uh, Garchomp. Dig. On hit or in burst, now allows you to combo afterwards. This is so fucking cool. This is awesome. Makes it easier to combo opponents who were hit out of the air. Now avoids projectiles while doing the uppercut portion as well. That's so cool. 
I'm, I'm excited for Garchomp mains because Dig got a buff. Dig needs all the buffs in the world. Um, and shout out to Skull Kid Dale, SK Dale. Oh no, now he's Squid Kid Dale. Or what was he now? I don't remember. He keeps changing what the SK stands for, but SK Dale, you got what you wanted, bro. They're listening. Uh, Nosedive is now cancelable into Pokemon moves. This is interesting because um, somebody, uh, Kalon was like, does that mean that you can cancel it into Earthquake? Because that wouldn't really make any sense because they look the same until you hit the ground for the most part. But what I think that is, is that uh, obviously the, the assumption is when you hit the ground, you can cancel immediately out of your landing recovery into a special move, out of a, into a Pokemon move. Um, but even that, like, what's the point? Like, to nosedive into Sandtomb, I guess? I, I, uh, there's that one combo on the wall where um, Garchomp players do the, they do the, the combo on the wall and then they nosedive into, like, uh, Charge X. Um, and the, the dive is mostly for style and for timing, but it doesn't, you don't actually have to do it. It's just, it helps with timing and looks fancy, but like you would still end with the, with the drill. You wouldn't end with dragon claw. So I, I don't know about that. That's weird, but cool. Cancels are cool. 4X can now avoid certain low projectiles. That's awesome. Cause it is airborne. It should. And it's so now it's safe and it avoids projectiles, but you can't combo off of it. That's a good button. Sandtoon fixed a problem where the animation wouldn't play on hit. Cool. The move works properly now. Uh, Sceptile. 6Y can cancel into Vine Hang after the move. Uh, detect. Successful increased chip. That's nice. Detect is like the... We, we've had debates, a bunch of us, about whether or not Detect is the worst counter in the game. I think it's the worst counter in the game. Uh, I think that Detect and U-Turn are like the two worst counters in the game you turn because it clashes with fucking everything and um and detect because like it's just you you can hit it and then block after it and i guess now that that's what this is for is that like if lucario does 2y and then he sees the 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 blue and just blocks you're taking increased chip damage now if that's like gunk poison sting chip damage that'd be really cool but it, hopefully it does something for Detect, because Detect, Detect needs some help. Uh, uh, Counterattack on critical hit, the opponent is now downed. Uh, not sure if it's a hard knockdown or a crumple. On hitting an aerial opponent, hit stun is increased. So that so better juggle off an aerial opponent? That'd be neat. 5Y uh, on hit, 5 hold Y on hit, uh, causes a down. Not sure if it's a hard knockdown or a crumple. 6Y on startup, this move can avoid lows. The... Uh, the last change is fix a bug where jump forward after using vine hang would cause your input to get stuffed afterwards. Okay. Uh, 6Y is the... That's where he does the little kabuki... He does the little Yoshimitsu, like, hop step... He does a little hop tap thing, and then he can do the the launcher afterwards. Um, I think, right? Yeah, that's what that button is. How do you cancel that into vine hang? Or does that mean... Oh, does that mean like after 6YY you can cancel into the vine hang? That'd be neat. Um, but that's cool that 6Y can hop over lows. Because now you could use that on something like Lucario's 2Y or Aegislash's 2Y. You could hop over it and then do the 6Y into the launcher. So that'll actually make that more practical, I think. Hopefully. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sceptile players. Uh, Chandler, Will-O-Wisp deals more damage to shield. Dual phase only. But Will-O-Wisp also reduces knockback against blocking opponents. This is rough, and I, I think Shy Guy Ty earlier was mentioning that he wasn't too happy with this, because this shit better break in two or three now, because it already only takes five Will-O-Wisps to break shield. It's like five Will-O-Wisps and then six y or six XX to break shield. Um, But now it does more shield damage, but reduced knockback. That's going to make zoning a little bit iffier, which is unfortunate for Chandler, but if it breaks shield in three Will-O-Wisps and a 6xx that's that's crazy the way i see this is it's gonna even out because she can shield break stupid fast and in, in field phase but her dual phase shield breaking takes a little longer which it should because like fuck you have to be able to block the character because you can't counter like you can with crow gunk like you you're, you have to block um <clears throat> but so i guess the shield break potential will be a little bit evened out between the two which is neat 
Um, four Y does more base damage. Cool. Four Y is yeah, four Y is fine. It's a button. It it could use that, but four Y is not like. I mean, that doesn't break the character, but it's cool. It's nice. Uh, JY in field reduces the damage Chandler can... Or reduces the range Chandler can move while performing jump laser. You just can't drift as far, which probably sucks, but it's another one of those, like, not a gigantic change, but the, the Will-O-Wisp nerfs, buff nerf, the burf, uh, that's troublesome. So we'll see how that works out. Pikachu Libre side Y when enhanced, hold the button to do a magnetic hop. Uh, the wall jump special hop thingy. The, like the air cancel when she does... Libre's air cancel thing. You can do that out of side Y now. Side Y has higher base damage, and JX has reduced range when crossing over opponents. So I imagine that means that you'll be able to, like... If you do it directly above them, you can probably still hit them with your, like, backwards hitbox. Which would be cool. <coughs> Slurp. Not that Libre really needs buffs, but... It's, I guess that's a buff. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, Gengar. 6, 6YX, the tongue slaps, the big tongue slappy. Uh, press R to permeate. More cancels for Gengar. Perfect. Like, fucking let him cancel every button in the world. Uh, side Y can cancel into Pokemon moves. That's super cool. You can now cancel the Ominous Wind uh, Side Y projectile into um, Shadow Ball or Shadow Punch. So that's going to make his field phase zoning really cool because... The problem with Sidewise is that it's a ghost projectile, so it, you can just... Other projectiles just pass right through it. But now you can throw it, and then you can Shadow Ball to protect yourself from, like, an Aura Sphere or whatever. Uh, Sludge Bomb. Attack debuff lasts less time for an opponent walking over the trap. Which sucks, because you can't really, like, aim those things really well. Like, you can combo in a Sludge Bomb, but why would you ever combo in a Sludge Bomb? Like, because if you're comboing, it doesn't matter if the opponent has an attack debuff. Just do the Astonish combos and get your shift to get back to field phase. And then it doesn't matter if they're attack debuff because they can't hit you. So I, I I don't play Gengar, so maybe I don't know. But I, all I know is that Mad Luck says he's switching to Blaziken after the patch. So <laughs> so I, I imagine that's a bad nerf. Burst attack on activation removes any support you have out. Same as Mewtwo. So you can't call Rotom. And then it, it sounds like a command grab burst nerf. Which they didn't give to Empoleon because who gives a shit about Empoleon's burst. But... Um, but Mewtwo and Gengar both got the same, like, burst thing. So that, that's probably specifically for Rotom. Because I don't know what else that would affect, really. Other than, like, Magikarp. But, eh, well. But, um... Midair Jump fixed a bug where you couldn't properly use Astonish after jumping back and permeating. Okay. Blaziken. Mixed reception of Blaziken, actually. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Where were you? <clears throat> I'm right here. Uh, air dash. Change the trajectory of his air dash. Now, I don't know if that means he's going to go straight forward or if he's going to drop quicker or what, but that, or go higher even, that'd be crazy, but like, that's interesting. That could change, that could make things a lot better or a lot worse, but it's interesting. EX Heat Wave has reduced, reduced combo scaling. Reduced. This, reduced, this bird did not do enough damage before. If you thought, you, you thought that was damage you were taking, that wasn't shit. It wasn't shit. You thought you were taking shit on the wall? Fuck you. EX Heat Wave does more damage now. Basically. Basically. Don't fuck the bird. Don't fuck the bird. The 6YX after the EX Heat Wave, it's going to do the same damage as new before. Uh, JY can now cancel into Pokemon moves, increase hit stun, reduce knockback. So that sounds like you can hit confirm. Ugh? That sounds like you can hit confirm uh, high jump kick now. But probably only unenhanced because of the reduced knockback. No, increase hit stun, reduce knockback. So that makes it better because it doesn't push them back as far as so you can combo off of it. Oh, that's actually amazing. I didn't think about that before. So now JY is going to be easier to combo into 2Y after because it's not going to knock them back as far. And increase hit stun. Oh, that's going to be so cool. What if it's enough increased hit stun that you can do like a 5X out of it? Or a, or a 8Y? Oh. See, I, Blaziken's buffs are so cool, and I like—I already think Blaziken's way better than people give him credit for. It seems like the Blaziken players are the ones who don't like him that much, but like me and Swillow and Madluck are like super hype about Blaziken. And I don't know if we're just looking at it from a different perspective, or if it's because they know something we don't, which is probably more likely because they play the character. But 
uh, like every time Blaziken gets buffs, it's like, yo, this character's awesome, and then nobody ever like uses them. Like the five Y jump cancel is really cool, and I, I used it when I played as him a little bit, and it was useful for me. But I'm a scrub, so what do I know? Anyway, Blaziken looks cool. Very excited for that. Weavile six Y is a new move. Don't know what the fuck that means. Burst lasts longer. Cool. That's useful for Weavile. That's super good for him. Uh, Icicle Crash Slam increased chip damage. Awesome. 8x Weavile can now combo if this move hits opponents out of the air. That'd be cool if that... Because that's the where he jumps and swipes downward. And like... It looks like uh, Chandelier's 8x. So if it bounces like Chandelier's 8x, that'd be really awesome actually. That'd be really, really cool. Um, but only out of the air though. But maybe for a combo tool. Oh, Charizard I'm so excited for. Bro... I'm so excited for Charizard. Charizard Flare Blitz Straight increases block stun. Increase block stun. In, <laughs> increase block stun. Increase knockback on blocking opponents. Awesome. 5x increased block stun. Ain't nobody on this fucking earth uses 5x. Get that shit out of my face and get to the next one. Six J6Y, you can now swat some projectiles to erase them with Charizard's tail? You can just approach for free? Dog. If you can slap psycho cut out of the air like dog that's all oh, oh. what inhale <gasps> you're just like i'm just like <laughs> oh i'm losing it i'm losing it holy moly i was double checking we were recording oh, i'm losing it can i fart during the recording no don't fart during the recording uh in uh, that's so cool i'm so excited for charizard players i'm so scats I wanted Scats to pop off about that, but he was like, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm like, damn it. I'm more ex oh, I'm so excited. And, and even and Jab Punch was like, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm like, Fruh. I want to be excited with you guys, but you're not excited yet. Inferno now has longer range on hit. Applies speed down. Increased combo scaling. Buff and nerf. So Scats basically said that move is still ass. Like, JX has the potential to make Charizard godlike. Like, godlike. Like, people will finally see how good Charizard is. Um... But Inferno, Scat says, is still ass unless that range is, like, a big deal. If that's, like... Because in my brain, I think of the angle of it. And in my brain, it looks like Decidueye's burst attack range. Like, almost full screen. If if we're if we're lucky. But it's not frame one. <laughs> it's not frame one, but fuck you. <laughs> um, it does kind of... I think it... Oh, no, in burst, it anti-airs. In, oh, yeah. in burst, Inferno has a little plume at the end of it, I think. Um, but... If it's long enough, it causes a speed down. So, like, try walking away from me now, bitch. Uh, I can go away. Yeah, and increased combo scaling. Nobody fucking... Nobody combos into Inferno. Who the fuck? Anyway. Wait, is Inferno... Is that That's 5A, right? I don't know what Inferno is. Wait. Is Inferno 5A or 4A? Oh, both, yes. It might be 4A. Oh no! If it's the if it's 4A, then yeah, that move is still trash. But still, it, yeah, it could be useful. I think I'm thinking of the wrong move. Either way, one of those. If if it causes speed down, that's still cool. Longer range, still cool. Something will be more useful in the future. Suicune got some cool shit. Up counterattack lowered the height at which the move launches upward to better hit small and crouching opponents. Awesome. 2Y increased block stun on the first hit, less recovery on 2Y. If you can no longer counter between the two hits of 2Y, people were just complaining about that the other day. That's awesome. 5YYYY. I did not know that 5YYY caused you to be in an aerial state. Because there's a point in that combo where Suicune's all four of his feet hop off the ground and he's technically airborne for like a second. And that means that if the opponent had called Rotom and you did 5YYY, you'd get caught by Rotom during your Poke combo. That sh I didn't know that was real. That shit's so stupid. I'm glad they fixed that. Additionally, you can now cancel Hydro Pump and Blizzard with R. Now, if you can do moves after canceling Blizzard, that could be really crazy. Canceling Hydro Pump is also cool because now it's just it's Hyper Beam but it doesn't pierce. So, it could use something because Hydro Pump's a little like not great, but that's awesome. Because now you could probably bait people into punishing it. Like, for jumping or whatever. You could bait jumps and then cancel into a Aurora Beam. Like, up Aurora Beam. Anyway. But yeah, that's cool. Instead of Blizzard. Instead of Blizzard. Yeah. Very excited for Suicune. Uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir, J's, J counter, or jump counter attack, dual phase. The range at which this move is, uh, 
the range at which this move moves move moves increased cool more distance on jump counter attack maybe it won't be trash now uh energy ball duel goes further and has some improvement to track opponent's movements so does that mean it arcs upward if they jump mm, it might. that'd be pretty cool energy ball diffuse uh field phase has a bigger hitbox that's awesome uh probably make it harder to slip between the shots because that's a, i don't i rarely get hit by the diffused in field i rarely i rarely block it i just hold sideways and normally avoid it so um 8x increase the forward movement while performing it just keep just keep buffing 8x make it a commit make it a red armor command grab that counter pierces do everything to 8x i want that button to be broken as fuck i love that button um i was so excited when that button got all the hit the the blocks done it got or whatever it got it, when it got its big nerve or big buff in G, dx gx Yu-Gi-Oh gx generation i was super generation nick i was super excited for it but that's cool when gardevoir does calm mind and burst attack she gets two stacks now that's stacks? two stacks what does that mean? so you know when um when gardevoir used to calm mind her little where she folds her hands together and then she can do energy ball or psychic or dazzling gleam off of it um and she gets a little ring around her and the ring lets her when she uses stored stored power the big flare the big power geyser comes out mm-hmm. um now in bursts when she calm mine she gets two stocks instead of one like how scissor gets two swords instead of one when he's in burst so when she does calm mine she gets double and and now when she does calm mine and burst she gets two out of her three stocks instead of one why are there three stocks because that's the three levels of um of stored power oh, okay. so but that's cool it's awesome Good for Gardevoir. Um, and now has more blocks done with Burst Attack, which is also awesome. Machamp. Cross Chop in Dual Phase has, uh, I think, more active frames, and the distance you get pushed back from cross chopping a wall is reduced. Neat. Still don't don't cross chop in neutral, kids, but that's cool. Uh, jump Homing has new move. Jump Homing now moves Machamp faster as he tracks opponents. That's stupid, because that move is already really... F- oh, no, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, Togekiss JY. Dude, jo- to- oh, Togekiss JX is... Oh, Togekiss JX is going to be so dumb. Oh, my God. Machamp can change the trajectory of his air grab by inputting back, which I imagine means it grabs up? Because holding back would normally make it... I feel like it'd make it go up. Uh, I don't know, because when he jumps up, he can only grab downwards. Yeah, well, well, that would make it. That would mean that if he can only grab downwards when he jumps normally, if you press back, that would make you grab up, unless it makes you grab directly below yourself, which would also be interesting. I mean, I don't hope that that's what it means. But for now, he's only been grabbing like down. Like even if he yeah. gets to the highest range, he only goes like this. Yeah, so it makes sense for him to be able to grab up or lower. But what button but would that be put? To? That's hold back, hold back when grabbing. Well, then how would he grab down again? Just don't hold back. What are you making faces at me for? That's what I, that's what I said. Uh, and hold X, charge X is now a thing. So. What are you gonna fucking charge? That it's a new move. What are you? Gonna... It's like guard chomp's charge X. It's a just a new move that Mod Champ has now. What? what? I know, right? It's Pikachu. Cool. Pikachu's volt tackle hitbox is bigger in burst awesome neutral y can be canceled into pokemon moves uh from the first and second inputs cool that's uh that's his little his little electro nuggets that he throws electro nuggets. the three little quick ones now he can cancel those into things other than forward y um he can cancel electro ball that's fucking nuts he can oh God. he can cancel 8x with 6r now in my brain that so 8x is the rolling kicks um in my brain, that means that you can can't like you could tap with the first hit and then press R to do his little like, like when you when you do A R like like J A R to cancel the thunder. I imagine it's just like that, but forward where it has a hitbox on it and you move forward. That'd be fucking cool. Um, for that'd be great for for cross ups, um, to get out of the corner and shit like that. Does more damage with burst attack. Thank God. People have been talking about how Pikachu's like the sleeper like. People sleep on how good Pikachu is and is going to be. Pikachu's like like low key, fucking high tier, like top tier. Pikachu's really good. Um, Age Slash, last boy on our list. Look at the eyes. Ah, uh, JY and Field. 
can now input directions to change the trajectory. So it's the Mewtwo JY uh, buff. Buff quote quote. I don't like the JY thing, but anyway. Increase range, increase amount of time you can delay 6YY. Neat. Uh, high stance gives more synergy at interval gives more synergy at intervals than before. So uh, cool. He needed it. He doesn't gain burst fast enough. Fuck. Uh, shield form Pokemon moves reduce duration of buffs received from form changing. That's actually significant. That's a big nerf. Um, because now you can't just live buffed for your entire life. Um, Iron Head now has difficulty hitting crouching and small opponents. So it possibly changed to a high. And this is one of those things where people are like, whoa, that's crazy. Aegislash is dead now. And it's like, and Catfight pointed out, he mentioned jumping, but I'm going to alter his tweet to say anti-airing. Motherfuckers who aren't anti-airing Iron Head currently are like, oh yeah, I'm going to duck it. No, you're not. You're going to fucking hold shield like you've been doing. Shush. Aegislash ain't fucking any worse than he already was. Um, King Shield, less invincibility time on a successful counter. Cool. I'm going to hyper beam the shit out of that dog. Oh, you're going to get hyper beam so good. Oh, boy. Uh, 4Y no longer puts you in an aerial state. That sucks because now Rotom doesn't trigger. 4Y, uh, 4X enhanced reduces the amount of time your buffs last upon use. I believe that's his projectile. I think that's the, the counter pierce projectile that he gains with, uh, with an attack buff. So that shortens your buff duration while you're using that, which is awesome. Because now you don't have to block six of those fucking things before you can move again. Um, oh no, this isn't our last boy. I forgot because young Ryu down here is here to remind me of our actual last boy. Uh, hit animation. Uh, made it easier to combo Aegislash since his hitbox was harder to hit before. So now he, I, now you, he won't fall out of your combos anymore. Awesome. King Shield fixed a problem where Aegislash was aerial after successfully countering with King Shield. Uh, oh, yeah. So he's no longer aerial after uh, countering with King Shield. Counter attack fixed a problem where he would miss certain crouching opponents. So increased hitbox, I guess. Uh, homing combo fixed a problem where the opponents would slip out of homing attack on hit. Cool. So that's the big one right there is reduce the amount of times your buff can last upon use of 4x. The Iron Head buff is a thing. I'm not saying it's not a thing, but it, it's a it's a nerf. Um, and I think I said buff before, but it's a nerf. Um, and the uh, reduced duration of buffs received from charging your from changing forms in Shield form that's also big. So now Aegislash will probably benefit more from running a um, support uh, uh, a status support like a um, a buff support like Eevee. Um, like Eevee and Mew, I mean Mew, a Mew Aegislash is already kind of dumb, but running Mew, running Eevee, um, running like Sylveon even just to survive a little bit longer because Aegislash don't got the health, bro. We were talking before about how Blastoise got health to work with for years, especially with like Blastoise te like essentially has more health than 660 if you consider the um, the defense buff he can apply constantly. It doesn't last very long. It takes four seconds to charge, but it's a buff. That boy can live forever, but Aegislash, he don't, he got the damage and he don't got the health, so running Sylveon might be valuable for him, um, and, you know, just anything like that, so that'll be neat, um, but yeah, I don't consider any of these, these are not enough nerfs to put Aegislash in the ground, his damage didn't get touched, so settle down, guys, settle down, uh, Lucario Burst Mode can now Air Dash, I love this, this change, the way it's worded, because it's like, the Burst Mode Air Dash, can now air dash while in burst like that's the buff to the air dash is that it exists now i love that uh burst mode aerial aura sphere can now cancel out of aerial aura sphere while in bursts maybe into air dash who the fuck knows and i imagine all it's going to be is his animation of air dashing on the ground when you do uh 5ab or whatever when you do the little hop out of aura sphere cancel whatever I imagine that just it's that but in the air so it's probably not going to be crazy like mewtwo or blaziken it's just going to be a quick little air stall avoid things come out on the other side dive kick you know just just make mega lucario better just make him better 6y out of the ability to avoid some highs you, you just just make him better burst mode reduced burst mode duration that's that's a that's a good that's a good he's got an air dash he can cancel his air shit 
and 6Y now ducks highs. Because why? you know, why not? Why not just make Lucario better? He, he doesn't do enough damage. He doesn't, you know. But the reduced burst mode is actually a very nice effect. That's nice. Uh, and that's it. Translated mad hastily. Problem mistakes, but hopefully guys will fix them with Midori's help. Shoutouts to Midori. And uh, uh, bye 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 again, he says. This anime girls. That's Pentau right there. For anybody who doesn't know, this is Pentau. Gentau. Pentau. Uh, but yeah, feel free to follow him on Twitter and follow Mins for their uh, their Shadow Me Too coverage. Mins the Mins and Spins, the two Shadow Me Too gods, and Corgian, who's still out there in the streets putting the work at his local. Um, support your local Shadow Me Too's. They're all gay. And that's not a dig. They they're all gay. Um, but yeah, shout out to Shadow Mewtwo mains for keeping up on their character. Shout out to Midori and Pentau for putting in the work. Uh, and shout outs to this fucking patch because oh my god, this patch is so crazy. This is like the craziest patch since like 1.3 and and DX's patch. Like, because 1.3 was crazy, and when DX came out, the which was basically 1. What was that? That was like 1.4... No. What was that? I don't know. 1.22? No, no, because we got... Okay, so no, 1.3 came out and then 1.4 came out. So ours was... We got like 1.6, whatever. DX's patch and 1.3 were both... 1.3 Wii U were really big patches, but this is like the biggest... This is so great. This is so cool. Characters are getting moves. Mewtwo is a is a high... Techn Mewtwo's become a technical character now. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. I'm more excited to play him now because I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna be worse as Mewtwo, and I'm excited for that. And I'm still gonna focus blast in neutral, and you can't stop me from focus blasting in neutral. I'm really excited for Garchomp. I'm really excited for uh, for Suicune and Charizard. And oh, it hurts me to say, it, but I'm, I feel good about Scizor. I hope Scizor can do better because I don't want to hate Scizor, but God, I don't like Scizor. And my boy Blastoise. You're gonna see me anti-air aura fearing all the time and missing and getting punished for it. So wait. What? This patch is basically new moves, fair and balanced aside from Aegis, 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 my age slash. Yeah. And, and, and just overall balancing. It's not really even, and adding moves. it's not really even balancing. It's just like, there's mostly buffs in this and mostly new moves. Yeah. So like Swillow mentioned how he's like they didn't really do anything for the balance, but it it was a lot of fun changes. But are they true buffs? Like will, yeah. do you think we'll be able to see them in combat? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Well, for Mewtwo's absolutely. Well, yeah, but I mean overall. Yeah. I mean like cuz Blaziken getting cuz Blaziken's air dash and JY changes mean that like the way he moves in the air and the way he combos are going to be completely different. Like, combos that weren't possible because JY pushed the opponent back too far are going to become possible now. And, like, with the with the 5A jump cancel and the new air dash and the JY um, cancel buff, like, Blaziken's going to have a lot of new shit that's going to be really cool. I think that all these patches coming together, like, compounding together is going to make it really, really interesting for Blaziken. Blastoise has a true anti-air off of uh, 5A now, which is gonna that, that's gonna be one of those things that's like really noticeable because it's gonna be 5a and then like you just make a read and anti-air um and we're not sure if you can combo off of it like if you could 6x or 8a off of it if you could 8a that'd be super cool especially if you could charge it but even if you can't like it's still you're still putting them in a full screen situation against blastoise who who does okay at full screen um Decidueye, what what, hap what even happened to Decidueye? <laughs> he got nerfed, dog. Did he get nerfed? What happened? Four the dash. The counter got killed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The counter change. He's gonna get stuffed out of shit now. I'm gonna be six Y Ying that dude forever now. You're gonna ring me out. Yeah, I'm gonna ring you out. In Soul Calibur, Shasta Soul Calibur. But yeah, so that that's a Empoleon. Empoleon walks faster now. The king. His the king. Touch the groom. The king is finally here. So that's so exciting, dude. So yeah, his is gonna be super noticeable because he walks faster. He has new slides. So, uh, he has a new move. He has six uh, five YX is a new move. So do you think this patch is gonna change MU's ratios? Yeah, matchups are gonna be different now. Well, for some characters, hmm. um, like I don't know if Scizor's change. Like it, it remain. It'll be. We'll have to see how well Scizor's changes actually affect his matchup spread, because like. Bug Bite cancel, Sword Dance cancel, that doesn't make his Shandy or Lucario matchups any better. 
Um, and like the like the anti air thing for Blastoise, that doesn't make the Weavile matchup any less shitty. Fighting Weavile is still going to be trash for Blastoise, but like Empoleon having a walk speed means that he'll be able to fight characters that he couldn't before. Characters like Gardevoir, where where his only method of attack was like walk forward and block, and then hope you Aqua Jet and don't hit a counter. <laughs> now he can actually walk forward and block and play the Gardevoir matchup like every other character. Which is still going to be shitty for him, but at least he can do it. Um, 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 what else do we have? Yeah, Mewtwo's going to get burst more often, for sure. Like, <clears throat> you're going to see a lot more golden flashes, for one thing. So, um, you're going to visually be able to see Mewtwo's changes. But additionally, he's going to be in burst every now and then. Swillow says that if he can get into burst in one round as Mewtwo, he'll actually play Pokémon again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, we, oh. We can make it with Mew. We can make it happen. We gotta get SpongeBob back. We gotta get Swellow back. Um, uh, breaks and changes aren't gonna be too big, other than whatever the fuck J eight Y is. That could be interesting, but I don't know what the fuck that could be. Um, Garchomp's Dig is better now. I know. So we're gonna see more Dig, hopefully. Wait, so what was it on crit or in burst? Now allows you to combo afterwards. Yeah. So basically, I can't get grabbed out of it anymore. On the last frame, when I get out of it. Well, no, no. What that means is that when you, if you're, in, if you do it on a crit, so like with a Mew buff, or just if they try to grab your, if they try to, well, they actually did buff it in the last patch, mm -hmm. where it's you can't, it's harder to grab out of the ground now. Oh, is it? Yeah, like it's, it actually, like it has, it stops you from doing that. Okay. It did get buffed before, so now if you get a crit with it, or you do it while you're in burst and hit with it, so Togekiss like full screen punish dig with burst uh, Garchomp. You do that, you get a combo off of it. Oh. Yeah. So now, there's no... Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't know if that means it puts them in a crumple state, because you're still going to be falling out of the air. I don't know if that means it puts it in a crumple state, or if, like, it just stuns them. I don't know what that means. Or if it launches them with you. Uh, I'm going to assume it's not going to be launched, because if they, if they get launched and I'm still midair about to yeah. land, I wouldn't be able to hit them. Well, the only thing I could think of is it'd be the, the coolest ever mm -hmm. would be if it launched them with you and then you could do JY out of dig. That, well, you can, can't you? I don't think so, no. I, thought you I, you, I think you have to land after dig I in order to do, do moves again. No. Like, you could jump out and then cancel and then... Not, not, off, not when dig comes out. You can press B to, to jump out of the ground and do shit. But if you hit with Dig, or on shield or whatever, if you come out of the ground with Dig with your fin out, hmm. you can't do anything until you hit the ground again. Oh, but okay. I'm, I don't think that's what it is, but it would be really cool if out of, after the Dig attack, if you could hit JYX and then do like a, a ground bounce combo after that in burst, that'd be super cool. Be but awesome. I don't think that's what it is. I think it'll probably just cause a stun state or something like that. Yeah, if you could sand tomb shit. Oh, God. Well, I'm wondering that too about for wall combos with being able to nose dive and cancel on a Pokemon moves. I wonder if you could cancel into sand tomb for weird or for yeah sand sand tomb. Yeah, yeah, for weird shit. I I meant stone edge before when I meant nose dive into into stone edge. Okay, I was like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, if you could bait things by jumping and then bait like an anti air and drop down and then counter, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't know how you that won't help you against Lucario or whatever. But you know, <laughs> shit. Um. <laughs> I think somebody was saying that Sceptile's changes don't mean a whole lot. Uh, Counter-attack is interesting. Causes a hard knockdown, I guess. On uh, on a critical hit, is causes a hard knockdown. Interesting. Um, 5Y on hit. 6Y changes. I remember seeing like Swallow or somebody saying that that doesn't actually... None of this actually means a whole lot. Because 6Y doesn't get used much anyway. But it's cool. I think that Detect Increased Chip is the, the best buff out of this. Because Detect is kind of a shitty counter. Um, Chandler, Chandler might be having some problems, but if if this is enough, if the will uh dealing more shield damage is enough, we'll see a lot more field or dual phase shield breaks from Chandler. Uh, Gengar, even though nobody fucking plays Gengar, so we'll never see these buffs, but um, I think Mad Luck said that Gengar gets more nerfs than buffs from this, but I think the sidewide change is really cool. New Permeate is always nice. Uh, Weavile has longer burst mode. That's going to help Weavile a lot. Charizard is going to look different in matches now because he's going to be slapping them projectiles out the air. And not only that, but I was saying earlier is that he can... I'm pretty sure he can flight cancel out of J6Y. I might be wrong on that. But if he can J6Y flight cancel and then um, fire punch, like, 
or Flare Blitz. Like, Charizard is going to have some cool shit. Uh, Suicune is going to be just better. Going to be Cancel on Hydro Pump and Blizzard on people. Uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is kind of just, like... It's, it's useful buffs. It's not that they're not useful buffs, but they're, they're those are kind of more low-key buffs that you won't notice as much. You're still going to be fighting Gardevoir. Machamp has a new move. So we'll see what that means for Machamp. Kind of charge. Yeah, yeah, the new the new charge move. And then um, his jump homing being faster is good because that, that'll make it harder for Mewtwo to just JY him on reaction, which is what I do to Machamps now. Sorry, Machamps. Uh, Pikachu, Volt Tackle... Yeah, Pikachu's just Pikachu, man. He's going to keep being crazy and people going to keep sleeping. And and Lucario's going to be air dashing on dudes. So Lucario's a fucking Blaze Blue character now. So that's neat. But yeah, no, I, I think that these will visually change things. These will be notable. Good patch, good patch. Especially for Empoleon. Like, fucking Empoleon players, put your flippers up. Because your prayers have been answered. I'm happy for you. But, uh, yes. Anything else, Silva? Mm -mm. We all good? Yep. We ready for bed because it's 1 o'clock in the a.m.? <laughs> you are. Ha, 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 Um, but yeah. Thanks again, Pentile. Thanks again, Mins and Midori by proxy because Midori's a cool guy who's done a lot for everybody. Thanks, uh, everybody involved. Follow everyone on Twitter. Follow Pokemon Arena on Twitter. Use Pokemon Arena. Don't be like me. Use Pokemon Arena. I'm going to try to upload some Blastoise shit. I haven't been home. I haven't been... I haven't had time to do any of it. But one of these days I want to upload Blastoise information. Because right now the Blastoise topic has like two posts in it. And they're from like the day Blastoise came out. So I'm going to try to work on that. But Pokemon is a good good resource. Needs more updating by users. Let's get that information out there. Let's start using these new, these new patch notes. Get new information out there. But that's going to be all. So thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you next time with more YouTube gameplay. Woof. 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 Say bye, Silva. Bye. Bye.